And the probability is precisely zero that any sensory system of any organism has ever evolved to see anything about objective reality as it is. Now, I should say, it's not that that means that, you know, anything goes in perception, right? Is if, for example, someone just emailed me today saying, does that mean that there, these are, that just so, that evolution has given us just so stories, right? Just so stories about reality. No, no, no. They're not just so stories. They're useful stories. They, they, they're useful in the same way that your user interface on your desktop is a useful guide to the complicated circuits and software inside your laptop or, or whatever. If you had a just so story for your desktop interface, you wouldn't get anything done. So it's not just so, the, there are important connections, but, but clearly what you see on your desktop in no way resembles the circuits and software and electronics inside your, 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 your laptop, right? It doesn't resemble it whatsoever. It's a useful guide. It's not arbitrary, but it doesn't resemble it. And that's sort of what evolution did. It's given us space and time and physical objects as a useful interface. And, and so there are systematic connections between that interface and properties of objective reality. That's why it's useful. So there are systematic connections. It's not a just so story. And yet nothing inside space and time that, as we perceive it in any way resembles the objective reality in any more than the pixels on your desktop resemble the circuits and software inside your computer.